Welcome to our video about the 1968 Kennedy half dollar. Before you sell your coin, you'll want to watch this video and learn more about its history and value. The Kennedy half dollar was minted at the Denver Mint and San Francisco Mint from 1965 to 1967 without a mint mark. In 1968, the coin was minted with a D mint mark. However, there were some interesting issues during this year that can increase the value of your coin. For example, there were inverted estimate marks, minor repunches, and triple die verses that are worth looking out for. So if you have a 1968 Kennedy half dollar, make sure to watch this video and learn more about its history and value before you sell it. Before you sell your 1968 Kennedy dollar, you should view this video because we'll go through the 1968 Kennedy half dollar in further detail. This coin was struck in both the Denver Mint and the San Francisco Mint, which may not sound very exciting. However, there are several noteworthy aspects about it, so pay close attention and let's jump right into this video S first for some historical context. From 1965 to 1967, these Kennedy half dollars in the United States bore no mint mark. This altered in 1968 when the Kennedy half dollar received a D mint mark. Surprisingly, there were some this year has seen a number of mint mark difficulties, such as the inverted estimation mark, which was unintentionally inserted upside down. There aren't many of these left, but they're worth a lot of money right now. Let us now examine the coin in greater detail. The word liberty is centered on the front with the year 1968 at the bottom. You'll see the mint mark beneath Kennedy, as well as the phrases God on the left and we trust on the right. Something intriguing to consider. The date has a thick eight that stands out from the rest of the numerals. Now, the back of the coin has remained unchanged over the years, depicting the United States of America as an eagle holding an olive branch and arrows in its wings with the words half dollar at the bottom. When it comes to grading or the quality of the coin, a mint state 68 is worth a stunning $15,000, but the value drops dramatically in lower grades. Remember that 70 is now the highest grade. In total, 247 million Kennedy half dollars were manufactured at the Denver Mint in 1968, with no coins created at the Philadelphia Mint. Also keep in mind that the San Francisco Mint produced 3 million proof half dollar coins, all of which bear the S Mint symbol. This coin you see on the screen may appear to be valuable, but you can get it online for a few bucks. This is a copy, as you can see on the left. So there are counterfeit coins out there that you should be aware of. You do not want to be duped or taken advantage of. This coin has an unusually bright color tone, is a naturally occurring oxidation process that does occur. According to collectors, this can be either a good or a bad thing, depending on where you keep your coin. This coin fetched $1.4920. This coin was rated by PCGs at the excellent grade of 70. This almost never happens because it's so difficult to acquire that high of a grade, as evidenced by the estimation mark for the San Francisco Mint down below. This coin, ladies and gentlemen, sold for $21,600. Our coin and currency mastermind program is now available if you never want to question the value of your coin or paper money again. To understand more, click on the video on your screen right now. We'll see you inside if you go ahead.